Too many things to carry. I got a Yeti, and now we're gonna fill it up with ice for the first ever time. Let's see how this goes. Really, what's happening today is I'm just watching football, and I got this new Yeti, and I wanted to use it because the Longhorns play today, and it is a Longhorn branded Yeti cooler. So, rightfully so, the debut of the cooler just had to be today, of course. It's gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look beautiful. And just like that, that is the finalized view of the Yeti cooler. So it's kind of cool. I have wanted one of these things for so many years and I have wanted one of these things for so many years and I've been telling my fiance what did I just say? That's a story for a little bit later on in this video. But I've always wanted one of these things. And I've just been collecting a ton of stickers from breweries that I like, sports teams, random places, and just places that I visit. So I started putting those on the other day and it's coming together pretty nice. As you see, I've got, you know, all of the essentials, right? You got my favorite brewery right there, my favorite whiskey company the number two barbecue in the entire state of Texas. You got Bucky's. If you know, you know. It's my favorite brewery in Durango, Whataburger. That's my dad's company right there. Let's ripple, baby. You know, of course, we had to have the Texas flag on there too. So it's just really, really cool seeing it all come together because I've literally been holding on to some of these stickers for two, three, maybe four years now. So I mentioned getting engaged. You're like, wow, that's a crazy life update. Yeah, it is. It's pretty crazy. So I'm recording this on New Year's Day of 2024, and it's been about three months now since I got engaged. I've been dating this girl for five and a half years, and I finally figured it was just time. So what I did was something in the most me way possible. I lied to her about having two trips planned. One of them was completely fake and the other was happening before the fake trip and that was when I was actually going to pop the question. So we went to Durango, which is just one of our favorite places in the entirety of Colorado. And we went up there back in October for the fall colors. I mean, it was just absolutely stunning. I actually have some clips and I have a video that I technically made and a, you know some stories to tell about the last two years of, of going and seeing the fall colors up in Colorado. I just have been really lazy and have not gotten around to making them. Long story short, I got the ring, we went on this trip, and one day into the trip, I decided this was the day. So we got in my Jeep, we drove up to Silverton, which is a little north of Durango, and I had been to this sort of region in Colorado a year prior, and I had a couple of spots really picked out in my mind. I was like, ooh, this would be a good spot, this would be a good spot. And when we got to those spots, it just didn't feel right. And I think it's a lesson to be learned. You know, everything in life is not going to go exactly the way that you plan it. And sometimes you just have to trust your intuition and your gut. So the two, three spots that I had picked out in my mind ended up not working out. The trees were either just, you know, far past their prime of fall color ridge, or there was just like too many people there. And so we went on and in the most me way possible, we found this really, really cool dirt road. And of course I hop in the Jeep, throw that sucker into four wheel drive. And we ended up stumbling upon this spot that was just the most beautiful spot ever. It was this giant meadow on the side of this mountain that was just overlooking some fall colors. And then in the background, you just had this pristine mountain that had snow all over it. And my fiance's name actually, ironically enough, is Kendall. And that mountain was named Kendall Mountain. So it was like just one of those things that trusting my gut and trusting my intuition led me to that. And uh, then she said yes. And yeah. <laughs> so it was a mission accomplished.
Well, so as I mentioned, there is a football game going on today, and you might be wondering why I'm dressed head to toe in Texas stuff. And if you follow college football, you will see that my Longhorns made it to the college football playoff. Let's go. That's me throwing up a hook'em in like, I don't know, first grade. <laughs> and then there is me again throwing up a hook'em, but that's just awesome. And it's crazy because, oh yeah, um, mine's the Buzz Lightyear Band-Aid. I was playing golf the other day and I got blisters all over my hands. But the coolest part of all of this is the fact that you know, I've been a Texas fan my entire life. And the Longhorns have not had this good of a season until this year, since 2009. To put that into perspective, I just turned 25 years old. The last time that we had a season where we were competing for a national championship or trying to get into the national championship was literally when I was 11. That's crazy. I'm just really, really excited for this game. Regardless of the outcome, it has been an amazing season. It's just a dream come true to have this happen literally the year after I graduate, which is just amazing. So I mentioned golfing. My fiance's parents were so kind and they got me sort of a starter golf set. So I've been learning how to play the last couple of weeks. And I've been playing with my buddy Matt a few times, just going to the driving range. And then I think here in a week or two, we're probably going to go hit up the course, but it has been so, so fun. And I also think that just from the perspective of trying something new, and really having something that you can consistently work at to get better at, I really love that aspect of, of golf. Like, it's really truly one of those sports that you have to practice, 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 and you really have to hone in on your technique. You're not just gonna step on the golf course and just be Tiger Woods from day one. No, you gotta like work at it incrementally. And it's also like, when I was playing the other day with my buddy, we were hitting some balls on the driving range and it just really was something that when you're really self-aware of what you're doing in golf, you realize that when you're self-aware about the mistakes that you make or the events that unfold that lead to you making a mistake and hitting a bad shot, you have to follow through with what it is that, you know, is that sort of self-awareness moment, right? So like for me, one of the things was like I was picking my head up too much and then I would fuck up the shot. It was only when I followed through with centering myself and really paying attention to those things and following through with that, that I actually saw good good hits. And it really got me thinking for this upcoming year. Again, I'm recording this on January 1st, 2024. It really led me to think about the, the words follow through in sort of a grander concept. I think the new year's really stigmatized with new year, new me, you know, and, and a lot of people are saying, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And the thing is, is that I'll be the first to admit that I do the same thing, right? You hype up the new year, you have all of these goals, and then the moment that you see any resistance or failure, you just kind of give up on them. And so for this upcoming year, I really want to just hone in on the words, follow through. I just think that those words are really, really good guiding sort of North Star words that can lead you towards accomplishing your goals. But then it's a combination of actually following through and setting realistic expectations and goals. I don't want to say that I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I just want to do them. I think having that is going to be huge. And I really encourage each and every one of you to maybe do something similar because I've just had those words in the back of my mind all day today. And it's just the little things, right? For instance, like I got up this morning and did I want to get up out of bed early and go ride the Peloton bike? No, absolutely not. Just like nobody wants to go to the gym, but it's just something that we do to better ourselves. So with that being said, I appreciate you tuning into my TED Talk. I am so, so excited for what the upcoming year is going to bring. You know, 2023, while I didn't showcase it in video form, it was just a phenomenal year. It was a really, really great year. And uh, I hope that 2024 is even better. So here's to my Longhorns, hopefully winning, but even if they don't, it's been a freaking heck of a season to watch. And here is to following through. So I am going to now, awkwardly in the video, as I sometimes do, I'm going to stand up, I'm gonna walk out that way, and then the screen's just gonna cut to black, and then you're gonna be like, what the hell? Like, I wanna watch more of the video. Like, can we get some more content? <laughs>